A few minutes ago, we visited Governor's Hospital Jamong Homestead at uh, Okiludu Village, where it seemed that the security manning the compound uh, a little bit uh, hostile to journalists. But we were, uh, they notified us that the governor is not within the compound, so we left and we came here to Busia Town in just the front of his office. And as you had noted earlier, we're expecting the governor of Busia's Hospital Jamong and other nine accomplices to be arrested today after the director of public prosecution, Urdina. Had uh, approved the arrest of the, uh, the 10 of them in regard to all those charges that you have mentioned before. But the main one being where the governor uh, is accused of tendering or allocating one company known as Madame R Enterprise Limited, uh, a tender where he did not maybe uh, make it public where other companies had applied before. So as you have already noted that ESCC tabled the documents before the DPP and he has now approved the arrest of the governor. But Apart from that, also, ESCC complained that the governor single-sourced a company that has, I have already named before as Madam R, uh, limited to provide waste management services here in Busia County, something that has not happened. And the documents that we have really indicated that uh, the, the, there's no work that has been done so far. And apart from that, also, it's, uh, the, the, the company does not have what you can call the manpower to provide such kind of services. But apart from that, the shocking thing is that after the MOU was signed between the governor and the company that I've already noted. The governor transfer, uh, traveled to Germany where they signed the MOU between Madame R Enterprise Limited and uh, the governor asked the county government to pay 8 million shillings to the company which was supposed to be paid in two installments 4 million and then after that another 4 million shillings. But shockingly there was another entity with a similar name but a small difference. The first one was Madame R Enterprise Enterprise Limited, but the second one was Madam R Enterprise, which was paid four million, while the other amount of money went to the other sister company, which was not registered during the signing of the MOU by the Registrar of Business in the country. So it is alleged that the county government has lost more than 20 million shillings, and this company, Madam R, was entitled to provide services to the county government of Busia in terms of management of waste. But apart from that, also it was entitled to provide uh, services of managing funds and grants from well-wishers to this county which was expected to be around 8.9 billion shillings. But so far, Ben, we can confirm the governor has not yet been arrested. He's not at his Okiludu main homestead, so we don't know where he is. But a few moments ago, I think a few minutes ago, I saw his post on Facebook where he has, uh, he has termed the alleged uh, arrest as not uh, 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 complying with the law and he stated that it was malicious and he stated that the funds were used to well to benefit the locals here and apart from that also he stated clearly that he has document to table after he's arrested so that post is still viable on his Facebook uh, handle uh, in it was posted a few minutes ago but apart from that also we have tried to speak to some of the locals here and to maybe to find the, the clear picture of what they can talk about this let me speak to one gentleman here uh, maybe you can move closer. Tuambia tu jina lako na tumeweza kufahamishwa kwamba ESCC inataka kumkamata governor wenu hospital Jamong. Labda wewe unadhani kwamba haya madai kwamba mehusika na ufisadi ni kweli? Mimi kwa majina ni Steven Obala nikiwa mwenyekiti wa Busia Business Owners Association. Na ninaweza sema kwamba ESCC imechelewa kwa sababu nikiwa governor wa wafanyabiashara katika county ya Busia ninaona ESCC imechelewa sana. Kwa nini unadhani imechelewa? Kwa sababu sisi watu ambao tuko kwa ground tunaelewa ufisadi aina nyingi ambao umeendelea hata katika miaka mitano ambayo imepita. Na tumekuwa tukilia na tunakuwa hata threatened tukitaja hayo mambo. Ndiyo sababu nasema kwamba ESCC imechelewa. Kwa mfano kuna jama mmoja anaitwa Omachar. Ako na issues tayari na ESCC ambayo kisheria na kikatiba ya Kenya hangefaa kuruhusiwa kufanya kazi ama kuajiriwa kazi katika county ama katika shirika lolote ambalo linashughulikia mambo ya umma mpaka awe cleared lakini tumeshangaa kwamba amepewa kazi bila kujali na labda kuna hii kampuni ambayo inatajwa kwamba imehusika ilifaa kuleta shughuli za kutoa uchafu labda umekuwa mkipata huduma zake 
huduma mimi mwenyewe katika ofisi yangu ya association ya wafanyabiashara tuko na malalamiko ya watu ambao hawajalipwa miezi kumi na moja na uchafu umekuwa unatolewa uchafu imefika sasa wakati umekuwa sasa wale wanachukuliwa tu kwa muda kwa sababu walioajiriwa saa hizi wana miezi kumi na moja huu mwezi ukiingia ni mwaka mzima hawajawahi lipwa kwa hivyo imekuwa tu ni kulipa watu pa day ambao wanatolewa sehemu tofauti tofauti na wanalipwa na wanatoa lakini hawatoi katika kiwango ambacho kinahitajika na, na labda ule wakati wa kupeana kandarasi during the tendering process maybe labda iliweza kutangazwa wazi watu waweze kutuma maombi yao jambo lililoko michezo ambayo iko tenda kutangazwa wazi lakini kuna mambo ambayo yanafanywa chini ya meza kwa hivyo wanaweza wanafanya tu ili waridhishe watu kwamba tendering process iko sawa imetangazwa lakini mambo mengi yanaidhinishwa chini ya meza Unatarajia labda kukamatwa kwa governor na wale wengine kutaleta mwamko mpya there will be transparency in terms of funds utilization in Busia County Kile kitafanya transparency uwepo mtu akamatwe na akipatikana na makosa anyang'anywe mpaka yale mali ameiba kwa sababu shida tuliyokuwa tulio, tulioko nayo ni kwamba mtu atakamatwa atapatikana na makosa na anapigwa fine na anapigwa fine labda hata chini ya zile pesa ambazo ameiba mtu akamatwa hata kama ni vizuri iwe kama China watu wa hangiwe hangi kabisa kwa sababu Kenya tuko na watu wengi ambao wamesoma hawana kazi na watu wanapewa kazi kwa njia zisizofaa na mwishowe anaiba tu akijua kwa sababu for example mtu anajua kwamba yeye anapo retire atalipwa milioni kama tano. wakati anasema atalipwa anaona anapiga hesabu atalipwa milioni tano, na yana handle kama milioni ya msini kwa mwaka ya umma anaamua fadhali aibe milioni ya msini, afutwe kazi kwa sababu hata afuatwa kunyang'anywa ile ameiba anafutwa kazi lakini amefaidika kabla ni kuache uende kuna kampuni imetajwa kama madam ara ambayo ilifaa kuleta zile shughuli za kusafisha mji labda imekuwepo na mmeona huduma zake jinsi nimekuambia kuna mambo sisi tunasikia lakini hatuyafahamu vizuri kwa hivyo mambo yote kama association aswa sisi ambao tunasimamia wafanyabiashara tumepuuziliwa mbali kabisa na hiyo ofisi ya governor pamoja na cabinet yake hata assembly yake haitujui hata kwa sasa tuko na mambo ambayo yanatusumbua unatarajia nini kutokana na hii shughuli kwamba unadhani sasa mwisho wa siku kutakuwa na haki na labda mtaweza kuendelea mbele kama county ESCC hata itembelee organization ambazo ziko registered kama zetu za wafanyabiashara ili tuwaeleze kuna mambo mengi ambayo hata bado hawajui watembee na tuwa, tuko tayari kusaidiana nao ili nasi tuwe kama watu ambao tumeona ugatuzi sisi katika miaka tano iliyopita Busia County tunakaa kama watu ambao tujakutana na ugatuzi ni aibu kubwa sana Asante sana Ben you can see the locals here very angered in terms of the uh, alleged corruption issues that have been witnessed here in Busia County so as i had noted earlier that the director of public prosecution had given an approval approval pardon me for the arrest of uh, Busia County governor so Peter Ojamong and others to be charged in court in terms of a few charges. So we'll just be keeping an eye to see if in the course of the day maybe he'll avail himself or if he'll be arrested. Ben. Thank you, Willie Willie Lusigia, live from the county.